First, our big story at five. Former guards and lawmakers are speaking out about what they call dangerous conditions at Columbia Correctional Institution. NBC 15's Kate Pabish joins us now with the story of one correctional officer who says enough was enough. John, the prison is operating with, according to employees we spoke with, more than 50 less employees than usual. And now that it's summer, people are taking time off for vacation. Officers are working overtime and double shifts just to cover those empty spots. Faye Hart may not have always planned on working in a prison. I don't know of anybody who says I want to grow up and be a correctional officer. It's difficult. But for the last 18 years, she showed up, punched in, and went to work at Columbia Correctional. The security has gone downhill. It used to be a maximum security prison, and right now it's treated as a minimum. Recently retired, Faye says she wants to get the message out about the conditions, so hopefully something will change. I I'm so afraid that one of my friends or somebody I know gets hurt or killed. She says overtime is forced. The prison is short on staff and both inmates and officers are getting hurt. In the last probably year, there's been more assaults. According to a spokesperson with the Department of Corrections, summer is vacation time and correctional officers are often asked to work overtime or to take on additional shifts due to the need to utilize correctional officers 24 hours a day at institutions to ensure safety. But Faye says with the few tired, overworked officers they have, it's far from safe. I heard that on last weekend there was two assaults. Uh, an inmate had taken a dishwasher apart and used that part to beat another inmate. The DOC says they've been bringing in officers from other prisons to help fill those spots temporarily, but Hart says it's not working. They come in there and maybe work a day or two and said, no, this is too dangerous. I'm leaving. I'm not staying. A spokesperson for the DOC tells NBC 15 that because of the seven week training period for officers, the process takes a while, but they say they've added more training academies and boosted outreach to try and get more guards in as soon as possible. But come up with a plan of action to make sure that that when a correctional officer goes to work, they know they're going to be coming home that night. Senator John Erpenbach says that a few Republican lawmakers have met with DOC officials, but he says what really needs to happen is for the department to talk things through with the officers and not lawmakers.